Everybody has a nickname. One of mine is Hammer Kick Cayman, King of the Low Kick. They say I make the hardest low kick in kickboxing. I disagree because I don't think I have the hardest kick, but just a successful technique that involves a combination of different factors that, along with a lot of preparation, turns into a very effective low kick. There are a few very important factors to consider before placing a low kick. First of all, how are you going to place your low kick? How often? Why? When? Also important is that you notice when your opponent gels from your low kick. When is your low kick effective on your opponent? Most people would say that it doesn't take technique to place a low kick. That is absolutely not the fact. Most fighters make a kind of football or soccer kick in the hopes that they'll hit something. The low kick is one of the most difficult kicks to place correctly. In this video, we'll look closer after taking step-by-step, point-for-point instruction about what's important and how to place a perfect low kick. Here I show some preparation punches before we place the leg kick. That's very important because if you don't punch and take away his sight, he will block your leg kick if you use it as an attack. With counter and interruptions, it's a different story. We're both on a fighting distance. I place a left jab. With the jab I step in to get in the right distance and take away his side. This counts for every punch you make before you place a leg kick. Watch carefully how the punch take away his sight and then follow up with the low kick. Be sure you put your body in the punches to make them look realistic, especially with an uppercut and a hook punch. With the punch you keep your opponent busy and take away his side. After the punch, I take with my left leg a step sideways forwards to my opponent and kick with my right shin on his thigh. You see, I make my kick a little downwards to get a good impact. Protect your face while you're kicking. Now I'll show some preparation punches for the left leg kick on the back leg of my opponent. We start with a left and right straight punch to the head. We're following up with a left straight punch and the right hook.
and we finish with the left straight punch and the right uppercut. I make a left right straight forward punch and make a step in between and make the leg kick on the back of the opponent's leg. An important point with the step in between is that you don't step around your opponent but step in to the right. Again, notice the little steps in between. It makes your low kick very powerful. You can see that when I make the step in between, I keep my left hand in my opponent's face to control distance and to take away his sight. Make the punch relaxed but powerful, so he has to block it. When the leg kick, you kick a little downwards to get a good impact. After the combination, you step back to the basic position. Here I start with a right straight punch forward and a left hook. Afterwards I'm following up with a right leg kick. Make the right punch long and powerful. Then the left hook. To make him block and put his weight on his left leg. Step to the left forwards and place the right leg kick. Make the punches follow up quickly with the accent on the left hook. When you take the step, you look at your opponent and kick with your right shin on his thigh. Step back to the basic position. I start to make a left right straight punch and follow up with a left uppercut to finish with a right leg kick.
make the punch relax with the accent now on the uppercut. And then after which you take a good step forwards. Watch how the right hand controls the distance when I step in. When you step for the leg kick, you keep eye contact and put your hips in the leg kick. Always step back in the basic position. I am making a left jab and fake a right leg kick to follow up with a left leg kick on the back leg of my opponent. After the left jab I make a real movement to make a right leg kick. So he will try to block on that moment. I step in between and kick the back leg. With this movement I put him on the wrong leg so he's not able to block my attack. You can see I put my whole body in the fake movement and turn my body back with the real kick. Take it easy with this exercise because your opponent is leaning on the wrong leg. My partner attacks with a left right straight forward punch. I block and counter with a left jab and a right leg kick. I block the straight left right punch and step in with the left jab and step to the left forwards and place a right leg kick. The jab has to follow up quickly after the block and take a good step to the left forwards. Notice how I throw in my hips in the leg kick. Don't keep your hips behind and kick with your shin. And protect your face while you're kicking. Again, step back in the basic position after your attack.
My partner attacks with a straight left right forward. I block and counter with a right leg kick. I block the straight left right punch and step with my left leg sideways towards my partner and place a right leg kick. Make sure you step in when your weight of your partner is still on his front leg. Remember good that you have to block the punches before you step in. Throw in your hips when you're placing the leg kick. The attack is the same, it's a left and right straightforward punch. I block and counter punch with a right punch to finish with a kick on the back leg. I block the punches correctly and step in with a straight right punch. You see, I throw my body weight in the right punch to make distance for my step. After the punch, I step with my right leg sideways towards my partner and kick the back leg with my shin. After the counter we step back to our basic position. I make an inside leg kick when my partner attacks me with a straight left right punch combination. I block the straight left right punch combination. On the same movement I take a step in between and make an inside leg kick with my left leg. Make it in one movement, block and step in between, otherwise you'll be too late and he is back in a basic position. You can see that I kick him when his weight is on his front leg, so he cannot block and I'll kick him off balance.
If your opponent gives a leg kick without a preparation punch, you can interrupt with a leg kick. This is all about timing. When you see the attack coming of your opponent, you can interrupt him with the same leg kick. So when you feel he steps, step also and kicking on the moment he is still stepping. Most of the time you can do this when your opponent is tired or has a bad leg kick. It's all about timing and protect it your face while you are kicking. Now I interrupt the leg kick on the back leg of my opponent. Your partner tries to make a leg kick on the back leg and you are quicker. Step in between and kick on his back leg. While I make the step in between, I push and control my opponent with my left arm to put him off balance. Don't step straight towards your opponent. Step a little to the right and kick with your shin. My partner attacks with a left body kick, with a step in between. Again, a good timing is needed. On the moment he makes the step in between, I take on the same moment a left step sideways forwards and kick the inside leg. Train this technique easy, it's only for the timing. Keep your guard up while you're kicking and put your hips in the kick. Kick the inside of the tight with your shin and keep eye contact. Here we can see an inside leg kick on the front leg in a match. You see, I kick him off balance. Notice that after the kick I'm returning back in the basic position.
Now I'm interrupting a left body kick with a right inside leg kick. Again, after the counter, take a step back and review the situation. We can see the result. This kick really hurts your opponent because his other leg is stretched while he kicks. My partner attacks with a right high kick and I interrupt him with an inside left leg kick. On the movement my partner's leg is on the way to my head, I step in between and when his leg is on the highest point, I kick him on the inside thigh. Make sure when he lifts up his knee to kick, you make your step in between, otherwise you are too late. Always keep your left hand next to your head for security, even you know you can go under the kick and step to the right front with your right leg. My partner attacks with the same right high kick. I block and interrupt on his back leg with a right leg kick. As the right high kick comes, I step a little in the kick and block him double handed. Put your body weight in the block because you have to stay in balance. The block and step is one movement. You see my left foot turn sideways for an optimal kick on the outside of the thigh. This technique looks the same like the left body kick interruption, but there are some differences. As the left high kick comes, you take again on the same moment the step to the left front and kick the inside thigh.
The difference is that only now we step a little deeper to avoid the kick and bend your upper body a little. We can see this better in slow motion. Keep your right hand next to your face for security, if the kick still comes through or you are too late to block. If you kick hard, your opponent will fall, so train it relaxed. The attack is a left high kick. I block and make a leg kick on the back leg. As the leg is on the way to my head, I make a block, double handed, and step in between and kick the back leg. All these movements happens in one movement, as you can see. Put your weight in the block as you step to stay in balance, if the kick is hard, and take a good step with your right leg to put power in your leg kick. This is a perfect technique if somebody is hurt on his leg and he wants to force a knockout. I'm faking my opponent and step back and wait for a counter punch. At that moment I step in and place a right leg kick. Make the fake look like a real action and step back and wait for the counter. If your opponent makes the counter, you block it and take a step sideways towards him and put your whole body in your leg kick. It might be a KO.
the fighting moments, you can recognize the movement we just trained, the fake and the counter leg kicks. It also creates opening for a punch as we can see. Because your opponent is hurt on the legs, his mind is fixed on the pain in the legs. Look how my opponent is off balance and how I place here the right low kick. He wants to force a KO by staying in your basic position and kicking him on the legs. His mind is in the pain in his legs. Now we create the opening for the final KO punch. It's not only a punch who can cause a KO. As we can see here, my second low kick holds so much power that he goes KO on the legs. Watch how I block his counter punch and kick with full power on his back leg, which causes a KO. Here I'm training the leg kick on full power on the big pad, on the front leg and on the back leg. This is a perfect training for your timing. You can train this on a big pad, otherwise you hurt somebody. Notice the little steps in between, which makes my low kick very powerful. Your partner holds the pad in front of his left leg and you move on a fighting distance around him. When he steps a step to you to attack you, counter by make also a step sideways towards him and put your whole body in your leg kick. Be sure you kick with your shin. Make it like a crash. Step back to the fighting position to control the situation and see what happens with your opponent.
Notice the little step in between and the whole hips is thrown in the leg kick. With this counter leg kick I make a lot of KOs in the beginning of my career. But you have to hurt your opponent first on these legs because otherwise you will walk on the counter. Because there is no preparation punch, only a fake. When practicing this exercise by kicking the back leg we do the same only you make a step in between on the movement your opponent steps in. Kick a little downwards with the shin for a better impact. Don't step straight at your opponent. So make a step in between on the movement your opponent steps in. You can see the impact by kicking a little bit downwards by your opponent. The attack now is a left front kick and I redirect the kick. This is the beginning of many counters on a front kick. But this has to happen first correctly to do anything. My partner places a left push kick and I step a little back and with my left arm I redirect the kick to any place on the ground where I want. Let your partner really try to hit you so you have to redirect the kick. The point of this technique is that your opponent is off balance for a moment, 
so we can place a counter. So it's important that you redirect the kick with some aggression. Not just block it, but sweep the leg a little. So again, you can place it wherever you want it. Now we see the attack with the right leg and I redirect it to take him off balance. Again, your partner tries to kick you really with a right front kick and I redirect the kick with my right arm. You see, I do this with some power, otherwise I can't redirect a strong kick. When I redirect his front kick, I step a little back and you see my partner is a little out of balance. And from that moment, we're going to take advantage with the counter technique. That's the point of redirect a kick. Of course, this also can be practiced to the other side. Now you see I redirect the left front kick to the outside. My partner attacks with the left front kick and now I redirect it with my right arm to the outside. I do this again with some power and you see my opponent is not able to pull his leg back to a good position. Not right away. When the kick comes I move a little back with my body to be out of reach. You see after I redirect the kick he is a moment of balance. Now the attack is with the right front kick and I redirect it again. When the kick comes I step a little bit back and at the same time I redirect the kick with my left arm. I redirect again with some aggression, especially when it's a strong kicker. Because you do this with power, he is not able to pull his leg back right away. He is a moment of balance. And that's what we want.
Now we not only redirect, but also counter. And that's the reason why we redirect, to place a good counter. The attack is again a left front kick, which I redirect with my left arm. Step to the left, not straight onto my opponent, but to the left and place a right leg kick. We follow up the leg kick with a left knee. You can see it's impossible to block for my opponent because he's off balance. After the right leg kick, I leave my right leg in front and grab him, with two hands on the side of his neck. Take a step in between and place a left knee, and step back to the basic position. My partner attacks again with the left front kick. I redirect again with left, step in with the right leg kick. A right hand push and following up with the left high kick. After I placed my right leg kick, I don't pull my right leg back, but put it in the front and I push my opponent backwards and make a left high kick. Notice that with the right arm push I make the right distance for my kick. So with the right hand push I make the right distance, then I step in between to put power and explosion in my left high kick. After the kick I step back to the basic position.
My partner attacks again with a left front kick. Redirect with left and kick left to the body. Follow up with a right punch and a left hook and finish with a right leg kick. When I redirect the kick, I take a step in between and make a left body kick and leave my kicking leg in the front, so I'm in the right position to make a right punch and a left hook to finish with the right leg kick. You see the kick has to follow up quickly after you redirect to make your opponent block it. So he stands still to follow up with the rest of the combination. After my kick, I fall a little after my punch. Then put my whole body in the left hook, step to the left forwards and put my hips in the leg kick. To step back in the basic position. Don't get tired. Again, the attack is with the left front kick. I redirect it again and counter with a left hook, a right punch to finish with a left body kick. When I redirect the kick with my left arm, I make with the same hand a left hook. This is one movement. I turn back with a right punch and finish with the left body kick. Here you can see that the redirection and the left hook is one movement. It is too difficult that you just practice the first before you do the whole combination. After the left hook I turn back with a right straight punch just to keep him busy upstairs and make a step in between and make the left body kick with my shin and step back to the basic position.
I redirect the left front kick attack. Follow up with the left hook, a right leg kick, a right push and a left high kick. When I redirect with left, I make the left hook again, in one movement, but now step after the hook to the left forward and place a right leg kick, a right push and finish with the left high kick. I have a certain rhythm in the combinations, left hook, left kick, quick, one count, pass to the left push and a left high kick. Try to find that rhythm. After the left kick, I will leave my right leg in front, make a push with my right arm to make distance for my left kick and I make a step in between to make speed and power. The attack is a left front kick, which I redirect with right and counter with a right leg kick, a body kick to finish with a high kick. I redirect the front kick now with my right arm and sweep the leg outside. Now he's off balance for a moment. On that moment I make a left step forwards and make the right leg kick. You can see I don't give him time to recover and step back to the fighting position. The counter I place are on three levels, low, middle and high. Remember, with the high kip you keep more distance. Now I counter every kick with my left leg, but I redirect the same way like the one before. I redirect the left front kick with my right arm, 
sweep the leg outside and make a step in between and make a left leg kick on the back leg. When I redirect, I pull myself a little in this direction and make my step in between. With my high kick I keep enough distance, so I don't pull myself in when I redirect to keep the right distance for the high kick. After the kick you keep control with your left arm. Here you can see some of these redirect techniques and counters in real fights, so you can see they work in the ring. So his attention is on the head by the right hook and we follow up with the left body kick. Again redirect and follow with the low kick on the back leg. You not only can hear, but you can see the impact and power in my leg kick. When the left front kick comes, I redirect with my right arm, make a right punch and make a left body kick. With my right hand I redirect the front kick to the outside and with the same hand I make in one movement the right punch and a left kick to the body. I redirect and punch in one movement, fall a little in the punch. While I fall in the right punch, I take a step with my right leg forwards, sidewards and make the left body kick with my shin and we step back to the basic position. The attack is now a right front kick, which I redirect with my right hand, counter with a left leg kick and a right punch, followed by a left hook to finish with a right high kick.
I redirect the right front kick with my right arm to my right side. I make a step in between, make a left leg kick, keep my left leg in front, follow with two punches and a high kick. I am placing the leg kick so my opponent sticks in one place, so I can place the punches. My left leg is in front after the leg kick is given, so I am in the right position to make a right straightforward punch, a left hook and a turn back with a right high kick. The attack is a right front kick. I redirect it with my right arm, follow up with a right punch, a left leg kick, a left jab to follow up with a right knee. When I redirect the kick with my right arm, I make with the same arm a straight punch to the face. Take a step with my right leg forwards and make a left leg kick, a left jab to finish with the right knee. After my left leg kick, I leave my leg in front and make a left jab and a right knee. With the left jab I take away his side and grab him with my right hand behind his neck and pull him towards in my right knee. Put your hips in the knee. Step back to the basic position. My partner attacks again with a right front kick. I redirect with my left arm and counter with a right punch and a left leg kick.
I redirect the kick with my left arm and sweep his leg outside. Because of this, he comes in with his upper body towards me. I catch him with a right punch and a left leg kick. Notice how I step a little bit back when the kick comes. But with the punch I throw in my weight forwards. After the right punch I take with my right leg a step to the right forward to put my whole body in the leg kick. Kick a little downwards with the shin on the tight and keep with your left arm control of your opponent. My partner makes a step in between and attacks with a left body kick. I redirect, follow with a right leg kick and a left knee. As the kick comes, I step a little back, block the kick with a double guard and with my left arm I push the leg down at the moment it makes contact. Do this with a bit of power so he can't lift up his leg to block the leg kick. I use that moment that he can't lift up his leg to give the right leg kick. After the leg kick I make a step in between and grab with my left hand my opponent behind his neck and pull him in my left knee. Put your hips in the knee and step back to the basic position. The attack is the same, it's a left body kick. I redirect and counter with a left hook, a right punch and a left body kick. I redirect again with my left arm and with the same arm I make a left hook and a right punch to follow up with the left body kick.
I make the punches explosive and follow up with the left kick. After the punches I make a step in between to make a powerful left body kick. After the body kick we step back to the basic position. Here we can see a body kick which is blocked by me and countered by a right punch and a left leg kick. The attack is a right body kick. I redirect and counter with a left leg kick a right punch to finish with a left leg kick. I redirect with my right arm, take a step with my right leg and make the left leg kick. Leave my leg in front and make the right punch and finish again with the left leg kick. After I redirect the leg I make quick the leg kick so you cannot step away from the punch. After I make my right punch, I take a step in between to make a powerful left leg kick with my shin on his right thigh. My partner attacks with a right body kick and I redirect it and counter with a right punch, a left push and a right body kick.
I redirect the kick with my right arm and with the same arm I make a right punch. Turn my body back with a left hook or push to finish with a right body kick. The right arm, which redirects, makes a kind of circle. Block, redirect and punch. After I made my right punch, I just turn my body back with a left push, not really a hook. To get in the right position to make my right kick, I make a step left forwards with my kick. The attack is a left high kick. I redirect and counter with a right leg kick, left hook to follow with a right leg kick. I redirect the left kick with my left arm and push the leg down so he can't pull the leg backwards so his leg is in front. Make a right leg kick, a left hook and a right leg kick. I make sure I follow quick with the right leg kick after I redirect the leg. After the first right leg kick I turn my body back with the left hook to be in the right position to make a left step forward and put my whole body in the right leg kick. Step back to the basic position afterwards. Now the attack is a left high kick, which I block and redirect, counter with a left hook and a right punch.
Preparar el desayuno nunca había sido tan fácil. Nuevo empaque de Gran Día. Pártelo fácil, mézclalo fácil y disfrútalo. 01800-02-10343. 01800-02-10343. Los niños de México merecen que recuerdes este número. Tú puedes combatir los delitos de la prostitución y la pornografía infantil. Denúncialo. Abre los ojos, pero no cierres la boca. Contigo es posible. La onda de calor azota nuevamente la ciudad. El termómetro ha llegado hasta los 38 grados centígrados. Te recomendamos salir con tu traje de baño. ¿Buscas un golpe de frescura súper intenso? Maxer te da la máxima explosión de frescura que no se acaba. Maxer, explosión refrescante. Yo también, yo también, yo también. Yo también estudio bachillerato y puedo trabajar porque me especializo en computación. Yo puedo estudiar una licenciatura porque terminé el bachillerato. ¿Ya pensaste hasta dónde quieres llegar? Grupo Cultural y Cel, tu mejor futuro. Alguien llegó a romper el orden de sus vidas, pero en realidad será el principio de su equilibrio. Usted debe ser el ex esposo de Cristina. Usted debe ser... No olvides llamar a Melanie Parker. Un día muy especial, este martes 9 de la noche en Galavisión Espectacular. I push the kick leg good downwards and make a step in between. Follow up with a left high kick and then finishing with a right punch. I push the leg with power downwards, so there's a moment where he's off balance. I have to counter quickly with the left kick. I leave my left leg in front after the kick, as it comes down. I make a right punch and I stay in balance. I don't fall after my right punch. Step back to the basic position after your action. The attack is a right high kick. I counter with a left leg kick and a right punch and a left body kick.
As I redirect the kick with my right arm, I step in between and counter with a left leg kick, a right punch to finish with a left body kick. I leave my left leg in front after my leg kick to make the right punch. After the right punch, I make the famous step in between to make explosion and power in my left body kick. Step backwards after your action in the basic position. Here I redirect a right high kick and counter with the same right kick. With the first kick, you can see I can't redirect it properly. You see I block it and I sweep it through in one moment. You can see that the step with my kick is not right because I step straight at my partner. My kick has no power and I can't turn my body, so step to the left forwards so you can turn and put your whole body in the kick. The importance of takeovers or redirection is that you're the boss in control of the situation. You decide where you put the kicking leg for a counter. The first takeover I do with the front kick. I can put it in the front by pushing it down and put it to the side by sweeping it through.
this counts for both legs. You put him off balance with this movement for a moment. You can see I have to use a little force to put the leg where I want because I don't want to pull his leg back to a good position because I want to counter. Of course, this also counts for the roundhouse kicks. First of all, I block always with a double guard. Then you push the kicking leg down or sweep it through. The left kick is redirected with my right arm and the right kick with my left arm. Last words, about the leg kick, be sure you never step straight at your opponent otherwise you can't turn your body. So step sideways towards your opponent and kick with your shin, not your feet. With the counters, you see I always turn my body from one side to the other side. Even only with a push or a punch to get distance and to be able to put good power in the kick or punch. To step in between is one of the most important movements before a kick to put explosion and speed and power in your kick. Also with this movement you don't step straight at your opponent. With the takeover or redirections from kicks you are the boss. You decide what's gonna happen so you place the kicking leg wherever you want to counter. Have fun. <laughs>